tail of the tape. Brandon Vera, 31 years old. Christoph Soshinsky, 32 years old. Brandon Vera, a little bit taller. The reach nearly identical. To officially get things started here in Portland, here is Bruce Buffer. And now, it's time to begin our first bout of the evening. Three rounds in the UFC Light Heavyweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 19 wins, 9 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 6 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Temecula, California, by way of Winnipeg, Canada, Christoph the Polish Experiment Shoshinsky! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 10 wins with three losses. He stands 6 feet 3 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of San Diego, California, Brandon the True! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. The veteran Herb Dean, our referee for this, our first fight of the night. Between Brandon Vera and Christoph Soshinsky. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. Soshinsky immediately. Good body kick by Brandon Vera. Zoshinsky immediately, as you said, puts himself in danger. Yeah, he throws himself right into the fire. And that makes him very dangerous, but it also makes it easy to hit him. Southpaw against Southpaw. You know, I think that body kick might have hurt him, Mike. That was a, a brutal body kick right to the liver by Brandon Vera, and immediately Zoshinsky backed off. Brandon Vera can get those hips through and whip that leg as well as anybody. Yeah, very powerful leg kicks. A disciple of Rob Kamen, one of the greatest kickboxers of all time. Put that alongside his wrestling skills. And his yeah. jiu-jitsu training under Lloyd yeah. Urban. I mean, yeah. he's a very talented, well-rounded young fighter. If he can take his mental up to where his physical is, he can be a champion. Szynski is already backing off. I'm telling you, I think that leg, that one kick to the body might have done some that damage. to the midsection nice and hurt knee. too. Now, Brandon Vera can sit and pick you apart. And that's the one thing that separates him from a lot of fighters. Well, especially at 205. At this weight class, it's just perfect for him. You see him, he's lean, he's moving fast. No ice cream for Brandon. No ice cream at all. Unless, nice of kick. course, he wins. Oh, there you go. And he'll have it tonight. But when you look at how precise Brandon Vera can be with this striking, he hasn't achieved nearly what Anderson Silva has, but you could at least make the comparison that he times and he sets up well and gets in and out nicely and loads up. Now he's in the traditional stance. Kristoff moving in. This might be where Kristoff can gain an advantage, Joe, is closing the gap and clinching. Well, all that Team Quest training down in Temecula with Dan Henderson, I mean, they work this position extensively. Pressing up against the cage, the dirty boxing, knees to the thighs, all that. Kristoff is a, game, a gamer, there's no question. And there he starts with the knees. I mean, this is uh, Randy Couture's specialty. 6-0, and 3-0 and in the UFC at 205 for Kristoff. This is also one of the most grueling positions in MMA when guys are in this position struggling against the cage. It's so strenuous. Which will test the cardio of Brandon Vera, but again, he looks very lean. I believe I saw some blood. It might be from Szynski. Nice leg kick by Vera. Bears work in the midsection nicely. Inside leg kick. Switching stances. Brandon Vera. His father Filipino, his mother Italian. Yeah, Suzinski's got a small cut on his cheek. That's where the blood's coming from. Brandon again with the leg kick. Blocked. 
Nice leg kick. Very nice with the left leg. This is what I mean by how he can methodically pick people apart if he's in his zone. Well, he has excellent timing and, and great counters. Now, Brandon trying to use his Greco. Brandon Vera, an outstanding Greco-Roman wrestler, as I mentioned. 2000 Olympic candidate. He was around the Olympic Training Center with Randy Couture and Matt Lindland, Dan Henderson. Hey, what's that? Mike that one Van Arsdale. You can stop. Go, go, go. Okay, fight. He goes clean. Two-time Pan American champion and Abu Dhabi veteran is Vera. This by far the biggest challenge of Solshinsky's UFC career. Pushes off. Again with that leg kick. He's utilizing that left leg. Very nice. Inside leg kick. Sosinski swinging hard, but unable to connect. And Brandon has turned this fight into a kickboxing bout. Right when I say that, Sosinski goes in for the shot. Elbows inside. Good first round for Brandon Vera. So quick, so explosive. Yeah, I would like to hear Szczynski's corner now, see what advice they have for him. Chris, 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 Chris. Get to that guard time. Work your strikes in there. Work your knees. Don't let him get that guard time. You're waiting back too long. You're waiting back too long. You gotta go. Give me one. Water, water, water. Hey. Don't wait for him. You're stronger than You're waiting too long. You're waiting too long. When he gets, you go. When he comes in, jab, 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 finish it up with something else. He's got no power. Understand? One more sip. One more sip. All right. Listen. Keep moving. Have fun, stay on the fence. Okay, second out. Second out. Keep moving, have fun, stay off the fence. And that's what we talked about. That's what Solshinsky would like to do, try to overpower Brandon Vera if he can. Dan Henderson would like to see Kristoff throw some more combinations together. First round in the books, here's round two. Is Vera here tonight? Well, he's taking advantage of the speed difference that he has. He has an advantage in that respect, and he has an advantage in the technical aspect of his striking. Nice leg kick again. Chazinski's a very powerful guy, but he's just been unable to connect with that power. And as he's trying and as he's lumbering in, he's getting picked apart by Vera. Zizinski had him where he wanted him there against the cage, but was unable to do anything there. And now Vera's got him pressed up against the cage. Seventy-six inch reach for Brandon Vera. Six three. And they release. Fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Vera's just trying to set something up here, Joe, waiting for his opportunity. And it's the right hook. And an up 
uppercut. And he's just shaking Kristoff off when he tries to even think about a takedown. Yeah, and Kristoff is starting to look a little tentative. Those late kicks will do it to you. Plus the frustration of not being able to keep up with your quicker and more technical opponent. It's really the technical aspect that's the big difference, Mike. Kristoff's a very powerful guy, but you see he's throwing these lumbering punches and kicks, whereas Brandon Mouthpiece. moves better, more fluid, faster, more technical. Head okay. kick. Now, Kristoff, with that power, it's almost like he needs to get that one pitch that he can hit out of the park, where Brandon can pick him apart for 15 minutes if he'd like. You see, this is what Kristoff wanted to do. He wanted to get a hold of Brandon, but, I mean, Brandon has excellent takedown defense. It's going to be real tough to just muscle him to the ground, and he's got to be caught in a guillotine here. He's got to be careful. Powering out of it is Christoph Soshinsky. Vera again pushing forward. Got to be careful. Soshinsky with the clinch. But he's got to do something from it. He tries yeah. to drop down for a double. Brandon stuffs it. The old Brandon Vera. Might get gassed from a guy leaning on him like Kristoff is doing here. But Brandon seems to have gotten himself in great condition. Well, well, I think what happened to Brandon when he first made the drop to 205 is just was carrying him out a little bit too much weight and he dehydrated himself a little bit too much and wasn't used to the cut. But his last couple of fights has looked great. Kristoff gets the takedown. Very briefly, Brandon moving to his feet. He's on one knee. Well, remember when he first fought at 205, Joe, he did so on about a month's notice and lost 28 pounds in just about three weeks. Since then, the diet has changed, the workouts have changed, everything has changed. He's a true light heavyweight now. Nice knees to the legs by Brandon. Up. Much more evenly contested round two. Again, I'd like to hear Kristoff's corner because uh, he's got to do something. He's got to do something drastic now. Capitalize on that takedown. Switch off the singles and one that round. round. It could be one round, one round right now, right? You're breaking him. He doesn't want to keep fighting. This is a deciding round. You need to keep, the, keep exactly what you're doing with a lot more pressure. And he's looking for a reason. He's looking for a reason to quit. It's a battle of wills now, and yours has to be stronger. He pushed the start. He's ready to quit. Look, he's ready to quit. He's ready to quit. Break him. This he's got no power. Do you see that? No. I didn't think so. Kool-Aid, baby. <laughs> Drink okay. the Kool-Aid. I mean, they're, look, they're trying to pump him up with confidence. They're trying to get something into his head. He's, he's, he's getting outclassed right now by a guy who's just a technically better fighter. The Polish right. experiment. Brandon, the truth bearer. Third and final round. Nice right hand. Made a nice crisp counter. And those are the type of punches that make him a little tentative. To the body. Look at that. You know what? When he puts it together, it can be a thing of beauty. Nice leg kick. And he Fake mixes it jab. up nicely, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. I mean, this is a guy after his first UFC win who started calling out Chuck Liddell. Perhaps he was a little overconfident early on. Well, he has still said recently that he wants to win the title in two divisions. He wants to win the light heavyweight and then go back up to heavyweight. Four minutes remains in the fight. 
Kristoff drops down for that double again. Brandon gets a hold of a Kimura, though. Kristoff's got to be very careful. Oh, pops right out of it. That's his own favorite move. Another thing that's great about Brandon and his striking is his ability to switch from orthodox to southpaw at will. Very natural, isn't it? And he's effective from both positions. Clinch for Soshinsky. Battle for position. Kristoff's got to know that he's losing this fight. Absolutely. I just, you know, I think it's simply a matter of Brandon just being a little bit too good. Matt Hamill was the original opponent for Brandon Vera. Hamill injured, unable to fight tonight here in Portland. Kristoff fighting for the fourth time in about eight months. Well, I think win, lose, or draw this is a good fight for Kristoff. Give him a little bit more experience, and Brandon takes him down. A lot of people talk about the fact that Brandon Vera is actually better on the ground than he is with his stand-up game. Well, his ground game is outstanding. I believe he's still a brown belt under Master Lloyd Irvin, yeah. but is, you add those outstanding wrestling skills to that jiu-jitsu skill, and, uh, you know, very, very lethal ground technician. Had a wrestling scholarship at Old Dominion University. And you see, there he's right in front of Master Lloyd. And Kristoff gets his feet. Good knee on the way up. Vera again to the midsection. The low midsection. You ready to fight? You sure? Fight. Final 150 of this fight. Quick snap with the right hand. Kristoff able to get the clinch, but unable to land anything from it. No knees. There he goes. He's trying one. Didn't quite connect. He's had the clinch on numerous occasions, Joe. And now he's pretty much out of gas. Very just toying with him. Yeah, his punches are coming very slow now. And it's, you know, from being worn out from all this grappling... Again, he puts together a nice combination. Brandon stepping back. He's looking for kicks. Here comes one. Nope. <laughs> Good left. Right hook, rather. Dancing around. Let's see if he looks for one more head kick. midsection at least deep he likes that wing chung kick to the knee too yep he did it again 15 seconds left in the fight joe all brandon vera nice leg kick by vera Kristoff tries a left hand another nice leg kick a frustrated Kristoff soshinsky Outperformed tonight by Brandon Vera. Late kick to the midsection. And this is really the, the, the key to this fight, or you know, the story of this fight rather, was just the, the speed and the technical proficiency of Brandon Vera. I mean, Kristoff's a very powerful, tough guy, but Brandon just a little too technical for him. Bruce Buffer has the official decision.
Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 30-27, declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Brandon the Truth Vera. No surprise, Brandon Vera, the winner by unanimous decision. Here's Joe. All right, I'm here with a very happy Brandon Vera, a good win. Tough guy and Christoph Szczynski. You, you use your technical striking to, to, to outpoint him. Give us your thoughts on the fight. It was a good fight. Christoph's a tough dude. I tried to stay in Southpaw for most of the fight just to mess with him. And it was a good fight, you know. I had to push from a Southpaw stance. Wish I could have knocked him out, guys. Next time, Christoph's a tough dude. Now, you've had a few fights now in the light heavy, heavyweight division. How do you feel now about cutting the weight? Do you feel like you're totally acclimated and you feel 100% at this weight now? Cutting weight's pretty easy now. Uh, I got great training partners and uh, great coaches who keep me focused, so it's going to be some good times here at 205. What's next in the plans for Brandon Vera right now? Go back to the gym on Monday, work some more, get back in as soon as Joe and Dana tell me, come on, I'm in. All right, well, we look forward to seeing you again. Thank you, Joe. Brandon the Truth Fair, ladies and gentlemen.